welcome back to my channel now today i want to share with you how to make this delicious chicken masala drumstick now this curry tasted absolutely delicious i don't even know how to describe how good this was but today i'm just going to show you step by step and you can make it for yourself Now the first step will be to marinate the chicken so you can actually remove the skin if you wish to. Now I'll be using a little bit of salt to it. I'll be adding half a teaspoon of turmeric, paprika, one teaspoon and uh, black pepper about a quarter teaspoon. Once you'll be done with marination, set it aside and let it rest for about 15 to 30 minutes. Once the chicken is done marinating, next step is to shallow fry it. Now this step is very very important so please do not skip it. So add a little bit of oil in your pan and uh, put the pieces of chicken and let them cook until or shallow fry until they are golden brown. Once the chicken is ready and you have this beautiful color that you see here, set it aside. So now I'll go ahead to show you the rest of the ingredients. So I have two large onions, one bunch of coriander. I also have a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of, of coriander powder, one teaspoon of cumin and a little bit of salt to taste together with a quarter teaspoon of Tamarik, and I also have some pureed tomatoes. You can use whole tomatoes as well. Now, with the leftover oil from the shallow fried chicken, you can take any excess oil, add in your onions, and fry them until they are translucent. Once the onions have started to be translucent, go ahead to add the garlic and ginger paste, one tablespoon. Next, we are going to add all those dry ingredients. So I have the salt and turmeric, garam masala, coriander powder and cumin. And you can also add some chili if you wish to, if you like your chicken extra spicy, like I said before. Once that is done, it's time to add your tomatoes. So if you're using whole tomatoes, add them, cover them and let them cook until they are completely broken down. I've used pureed tomatoes. It cooks pretty fast and that's why I chose it for this recipe. Once your tomatoes have completely broken down, it's time to add water, which we will be simmering with the chicken. Now I want to share with you an optional ingredient that you can add and that is uh, buttermilk which is also known as maziwa mala. You can also use plain yogurt and this takes your stew on another level. So if you have this please add it but if you don't just proceed and use water. So next go ahead to add in your pieces of chicken so they're pretty much done remember i used a broiler chicken so they cook pretty fast but if you used kenyaji chicken which is a bit tough boil it first with a little bit of salt and then proceed with the steps earlier that i demonstrated marinating and then shallow frying so once your chicken is done go ahead to add in some coriander leaves
now the chicken is ready to serve you can see how beautiful it looks and the aroma from my kitchen is to die for it is smelling so good and this chicken tasted absolutely delicious you can actually enjoy it with some chapati naan rice or ugali please share this recipe with your friends and family and i promise you you will definitely enjoy it and that's it for today please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so turn on your notification as well because i always have new uploads every week i will see you on my next one till next time bye bye Thank you.